Hi, this is Eric with Parts Software. Today we're going to show you how to replace the doorstop on your GE refrigerator. If you need a new doorstop for your GE refrigerator, check out our website, PartsFactor.com, where we sell parts for all major appliance brands. Since we will be working on the refrigerator's electrical components, disconnect power to the refrigerator. Before removing the hinge, tape the door in place to prevent it from falling. The door hinge is located beneath the end cap on the top of the refrigerator. Remove the two screws holding the end cap in place using a quarter inch nut driver. Slide the end cap up and out. Then, using a quarter inch nut driver, remove the screw holding the ground wire in place. Next, remove the screw holding the water line retainer in place. Remove the two bolts holding the hinge in place using a 3 8 inch socket. Carefully lift up on the door hinge to remove it from the door. Then, slide the water line and wiring harness through the slot on the hinge. Disconnect the water line on the back of the refrigerator by pressing it on the tab while pulling out on the line. Then, feed the water line through the refrigerator. And remove the tape. Lift the door up and away from the refrigerator and set it on a soft surface of some kind to avoid scratching the steel. The door is heavy, so get help if needed. Using a quarter inch nut driver, remove the two screws holding the door stop in place. If you need to purchase a new door stop, you can check out our website, PartsDoctor.com. We'll leave a link in the description below. You want to make sure you are searching with the model number from the tag on your refrigerator to make sure you are getting the correct part. To install, align the door stop to the pre-existing holes on the door and install the two screws. Then, align the door to the hinge pin, set in place, and close the door being sure that the mullion aligns. Tape the door to the refrigerator housing to ensure that it stays in place during installation. Feed the water line back through the hole in the refrigerator housing. Then insert it back into the fitting until it bottoms out. Slide the water line in the wiring harness through the slot on the hinge. Then press into place being sure that the tab on the refrigerator housing aligns with the notch on the hinge. Next, reinstall the two bolts. Reinstall the water line retainer screw and the ground wire screw. Align the end cap to the hinge, being sure to seat the tab beneath the middle cover assembly. Finally, reinstall the two screws and remove the tape. And that's it for today's video, and if you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and comment down below, and for more videos like this, please consider subscribing. 